Hello everyone, this is Beto Butkina 7 with a special Wonder Quest episode. Today I'm going to play the Lava Mountain. Now this is actually a level set that I made a few years ago with the Wonder Quest level editor. So I haven't played this uh, in a long time, so this should be interesting to um, look back upon. So, uh, without any further ado, let's do this. The Brain Valley. As our, hero, as our heroes head for the mountain of lava, they come across a valley. However, it, this is a brain valley. Our heroes prepare to fight more monsters. Okay, author's note. There may be hack and slash rooms. They will be changed by the next version unless I get a good, unless I get good comments from them. Hack some rooms is hack and slash. Okay, so what is this? Okay, so there's a new element that we haven't uh, that we haven't really seen yet. Basically, what the brain does is basically it's just like a draw that makes everything smarter. So enemies will head for you. You need to deal with them accordingly. Of course, you could also just make a shield out of crates. And just kill everything here. And so now, go to the north. Okay, so, this room is a timer room. We have, until this ball reaches this orb over here. Oh no wait, that's the amount of time we have to survive. Okay. <laughs> Never mind then. Okay, so yeah, rose greens are unbelievably annoying to put up with as brained, just like in Drod. Hooray. Like in Drod, roaches that are brained like to move diagonally instead of getting the stress again. Since the Stroach Queen is sidestepping. Okay, so. Yeah, so basically we just have to survive until the ball makes it all the way over there. Easier said than done, though. Easier said than done. Okay, so. I think it would be in our best interests to kill the queens, but then we get stuck. It probably isn't. Stop acting all weird, man. Stop being weird, man. No for cereals, man. Okay. Okay, so... Hmm, this is a lot tougher than I first expected. Okay. I don't know how many spawn cycles I'm gonna have to survive here. The answer is probably a lot. Okay. So, right. So, for some reason, queens seem to have this tendency to face the direction that they are going to run away in, even though they are they're still trying to move in another one. <laughs> okay. I apologize for the badly witness of that last statement. Okay, so I think leaving this one coin alive is not 
that much of a big deal maybe okay Ooh, I definitely want to avoid that if I can okay I think having a larger area to fight the roaches is in my best interests Ooh. we have to handle this a bit better though Yeah, so it's basically that. Not not much else to be said. <laughs> Just kill some roaches. Hope you make it through. Uh. Okay, I'm, I keep goofing up. <laughs> this is not good. I cannot allow myself to goof up that much. Maybe this helps. Oh, there we go. Okay, definitely have lost ground since I last one. It through, we'll make it through. For some reason the horde seems to be getting less bothersome. For some reason. I think. They're just getting warmed up. As they seem to be. Almost. Okay, so now we have to start making our way back, which is going to be difficult considering we're kind of cornered. <laughs> okay, so, alright. Now the trick is trying to get all those queens to shove themselves in a corner here. Sidestepping queens, this is a silly. Okay. But yeah, seriously, I want to be able to kill these queens. Yeah, okay. Alright, this is much more tolerable somehow. Okay. Right. So now we just need to survive a couple more turns. It's easier. I don't know why this is somehow easier. It's three roaches less. Basically, all that changed. <laughs> it just became so easy for some reason once I decided to just try it from another angle. I don't get it. Probably never will. <laughs> right?
I think this room is actually a similar layout to one from Mysteries of Deep. That's an interesting parallel. I think it's from like the 12th level or something. Come on, roaches, let go of me. Oh, roaches, I swear to God. No sense of human decency. And again, they are roaches as opposed to humans, so. Understandable, I guess. I don't want that to see it again. Okay. <laughs> Oof. With the eggs, even the eggs, yes. Which I think I should head for that one up there. Seems to be the most troublesome one, really. Alright, so now the door's open, so hopefully. Yep, yeah, alright, I made it. Being in there makes this so much easier. For the most part. If I don't mess this up too badly, which I just did. hit this thing. You know, there's a better way for me to do this. Like, you know, like one I did. Maybe I should aim for that plane. I'm just goofing around a bit, like I do. Which is actually kind of bothersome to put up with. Maybe it's because I'm used to dead rooms of death roaches and they behave rather differently to this. Okay. Okay. 
Yes. Okay, so we take care of those guys. There's only two areas of problems that are really left. I can't really do much to the brain just yet. Pretty sure I couldn't have pulled this off in 10 rooms of death. That little trick I did. Because the roaches in this move diagonally a lot, even when brained. Whereas in draw, they would move horizontally then that way. And I would pretty much be, have been doomed, more or less. It's an interesting distinction to make between the two games. Anyway. Now I should have the ability to move in onto the brain. And now everything is brain dead. Okay. So I'll just kill a few remaining roaches. And room clear. Hooray! Hmm. Okay. Now these are fluffies. Basically their deal is they if they're even one tile close to Jax, they will kill him. Therefore, I think I want to be the archer for this room. So we're just gonna try to go through the roach. Snipe them. Or maybe we want to. We should keep the roach around. Yeah, because otherwise the ball's gonna be in the way and we won't really be able to do much about that. The thing about fluffies is they move uh, orthogonally. Makes them pretty interesting. Also, for fluffies, they don't seem all that fluffy. They seem more like psychedelic circles. That's just me. Alternatively, we could enter through here. Yeah, we want to get the roach close enough to the below area so that it won't be too problematic once I clear the room. Okay, so that must not happen. Maybe I need to make a few loops around. Wait, can I kill fluffies? I don't think I can. No. There's no real other way to get down there though, which is kind of kind of lame. Kind of jerkish of me. <laughs> of past me that is. Um, yeah, don't kill the roach. Okay. Let's go loop around. Good. I'm gonna try to do this.
get this feeling that I don't really have much choice here. Okay. Let's try entering from here instead. Let's try to get that roach there. Okay, good. Don't want to snipe it. So, how tragic that he's deathly allergic to those things. Okay, with a bit of distance, maybe this should be not too bad. Oh, well, piling up the fluffies definitely seems to be a good idea. Hmm. Interesting. Alternatively, I could just snipe the brain. Yeah, that, that seems to work for us. Just gotta get the roach down there now. Alright, there we go. Okay, that was interesting. Okay, so now we write the raft. Kill the brain. Interestingly, it seems the roaches were trying to get them in the closest position possible. Interesting. Okay. So now, we're just back track through these rooms. Here's our dear old friend uh, Nikolai to sneak through the wobbles without coughing to death. Okay, now a little evil eye room, nothing too complicated, just getting the hang of brain monsters. Right. Okay. Nothing too complicated, just some evil eyes. Now here's something that's really interesting. This is a snake. So yeah, basically, this is a mad fluffy. Basically, they're similar to goblins in how they behave. So yeah, here basically what I want to do is try to get this thing to shove itself in the snake pan, but since there are brains that's not quite possible. So our goal is to kill the brains.
which means we want to enter from a more advantageous position. Indeed. We don't want the fluffy to get stuck on that arrow for obvious reasons. Okay, so from here on out, I'm just gonna take on the roaches. Nothing too complicated, just get to that brain, and we're good to go. Let's get the roaches. Okay, and the gob, the, the fluffy shit, and the snake explodes in a a wide variety of fireworks and now we can move on to the room to the east which has a fluffy breeder interesting <coughs> so what do we want to do we want to get those orbs open now we have to get elementals onto both pressure plates in order to this is but oh no they spawn the they decent spawn fluffies it's not just fun not really especially since he's allergic to them and all that Yo buddy, you mind killing yourself in the fire? Thank you. Thankfully, since fluffies move only or, uh, orthogonally, it's not too difficult to try to avoid them. Of course, you want to be careful. As with pretty much anything, really. So that's one pressure plate pushed. Now we want to get that other one over here. Oh no. Okay. Um. we lost in the fire. <laughs> yeah, we won't miss them. So the fluffies we lost. And I don't want them ever again. At 
These are stupid enough to shove themselves into a fire because if they weren't, that would be annoying. So yeah, I think we can kill these with usage of intelligence, I think. down. Just kind of have to wait, huh? Of course it do that. Yeah, just kill the last few fluffies because I hate them. Okay, all right. Brained snowpins. Simple stuff. Just get through them. Hit the orbs. Even in this game is very funky. Oh, nice! One of them got trapped on themselves. Ah, and this one got itself trapped. Yay! That makes me super happy. Okay, try to get some advantage on this guy. Oh, guess he's not that smart after all. <laughs> Alright. Oh. This looks like a disgusting room. Yeah, you ride a raft to get to the brain. Meantime, clear up all those roach queens, I guess. I don't think you really need to get to the brain first. Because I don't believe you do. Of course, it might be interesting once the roach queens start getting a bit annoying. Uh, so, yeah, the. Rafts pick up the roach coins, which is pretty interesting. So yeah, the roaches are now blocking the roach coins escape attempts, therefore they are unable to really do anything to help it prevent my victory. Oh no, that's a terrible that's a terrible position I was in. Alright. I think I may have the understanding of what I'm supposed to do now. Yeah, I, the reason I want to get there as soon as possible is because I don't want that island full of roaches. Yeah. Makes lots of sense. Oh. So, that point on word, I can simply... Oh, um, yeah, that's bad. Okay. No, you don't. Stop being smart, roaches. Or anything but. 
Okay, so that's the only checkpoint in this room. That seems like it can get quickly annoying. Um, this room just feels a lot less bothersome than other rooms I've encountered in the Master Orion quest. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Do that. It's a terrible idea. Uh. Okay, so now The accent slash is definitely there. They're just sad. Anyway, I do not want to get to that island until I have taken care of some of the business down there. on our shores, we can just, oh, I got jumped by that roach, what a clever guy, anyway, now we can go downwards, which leads to this interesting little room, where we need to hit all of the orbs, and then make it here, so we can kill the brain. These are definitely more in the realm of trot-like puzzles than anything, I'd say. Alright, and now we can get out. So, right. Once again, there are brains. Actually, this level is called the Brain Valley for a good reason. I just like to make that quite abundantly clear. Hmm. Yeah, that's where I want to step. Gives me the best opportunity to survive. Okay, so now. Right, and now. Little manipulation.
Okay, and now the plane is dead. Kill the eyes. Room clear. A bunch of white doors disappearing. Okay, so there's two planes over there. One those gone. Okay, so go back up. Pretty simple. Okay. And now we go up. Now it's this thing. Now what do we want? We want at least two of these guys to get through. So I think it's in good order for us to push that open. Allow us to open the floodgates. Excellent, now the plane dies. Why Max isn't actually allergic to mad fluffies? That's what those are, by the way. Okay, so interesting little thing. Th uh, when you have ten rope, you can, with a special command, extend the reach of your bow. So yeah, this is what we want to do. It's a pretty interesting little gimmick, I would say. Really helps clean up uh, big white roaches, let's say. You can kill as many as three monsters per turn with this little thing. At least that's what I think you can do anyway. Yep, yeah, you can kill three monsters. It's pretty crazy. So let's just take out everything else. Oh, that's interesting. Well, it wasn't for very long. Right, so now... Let's go through the ball maze. Woo. My favorite maze. Okay, so now we have a golden thing. Basically, the point of this is to clear up all of the fluffies and just piss them off, basically. Thanks to Rick's Golden Axe. Also, I'm not sure why a mad fluffy would try to avoid someone's weapon. It's a bit odd, I must say. But anyway. Yeah, so. Yeah, if you're smart, you'll try to avoid having more than two of them at a time. Because they can be pretty tough to deal with. <laughs> and I just made three. What an intelligent person I am. Definitely follows his own advice. Yes, sir, Bob. Yeah, 
Okay, so that's basically the gist of this whole, this whole ordeal. Just keep smashing fluffers around with a uh, sword until you can kill them. Yeah, somehow a fluffy that is mad is going to want to kick your ass. But you can also kill a fluffy that is mad. <laughs> oh, sorry for that A word there. <laughs> Yeah, they, they can really kick your shins in, that's for sure. And your buttocks, if you're not careful about their position relative to their anger and stuff. Okay. So yeah, at this point you just basically kill the fluffies. Nothing too complicated, you just gotta figure it all out. Okay, now that they're all clear. I can kill the brain and it's clear. Oh, what does that do? Ah yes, the magical crossbow of doom. Yes. This is magical crossbow. How's it working? Okay. Yeah, so if an enemy is really far away, it's gonna deal fudge ton of damage. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. So now, yeah, basically the problem is... Oh! Actually, this is not really much of a problem, just... Kinda have to line everything up, mostly. Yeah, the trick here is you want to blow as many things as you can. Actually getting these to blow up is pretty friggin' difficult. If you can manage it, it's pretty rewarding. Because it just blows everything up in your blooming way. Well, you have some small areas you can just kind of hide in if you feel it. Oh, also you can pretty much, yeah, kill from a distance everything in sight. It's pretty awesome. And now, you can actually kill the brain. Kind of disappointing. Course North, okay, this is a clever, clever room. Basically, you want to avoid the eyes waking up, wherever possible. So you want to sidestep them, basically. So now what do you want to do? You want to take this guy, snipe the brains and the eyes, I'm presuming. Yeah. Yeah, that's the plan. You have two eyes to run away from there, so just gotta be careful.
So yeah, basically the room is pretty simple, you just kind of avoid the evil eyes. Let's go now. Okay. Dodged it. I think you also want to snipe the eyes, yeah. I think you do. Actually, how about we just snipe the eyes instead? Yeah. <laughs> it definitely takes care of that problem. Yeah. This is a lot easier than I think I seem to recall it being. Right. Ooh. All right, and the room is clear. Tarzan's jungle. That's an interesting little thing. Basically, the point of this is you can jump around on the towers with quick ability. First world just can't kill you while you're on a tower, so get your advantage, get to the roach queens as best as you can. Yeah, you definitely want to aim for the queens because they're the ones who are just going to make this room last forever. If you let them. Trying to be in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, basically, this is all I've ever left to do in this room. Wait, what? How do I. Oh. Can't step off a tower or something. Oh, I can't step on grass at all. Hmm. Maybe that's just a concept. What? Oh, what killed me earlier? Hello? <laughs> Roach? So, Rick, like the experience? Let's say I'm getting used to cable crossing. Right. The bombs. Okay, so bombs, what do they do? That's pretty simple, they explode when the number reaches a thing. Okay, so the point of this room is pretty simple. You want to avoid being on the side towers as much as possible. Yeah, you want to be on the other side of these things. So another rope. Clear up the path. Yeah, this is actually 
This actually kind of feels tougher than it seems. I don't know why the ores are being triggered though. See, I'm rather confused about this room because it's been a while since I made it. Oh, I get it. Okay, it's because the rays were activating the towers and the wires connected to the tower made the bombs explode. Okay, so you do not want any connection to those towers. Now, how do we get these roaches? Well, you need a connection to those towers. And how was pretty simple, you just... No, yeah, I, I, I remember. You just link the towers when they're being burnt by the laser beams. So yeah, basically this. Excellent. Really neat interaction that I figured out there though, I must say. I don't myself have figured it out. question now is how do I get there? I guess that's how. Alright, okay, so I'm just gonna wait for the roaches to show up. Okay. Um, whew, that was close. Okay. So I'm gonna do the same thing over there. And that should be the last of those queens. Boom! Nice room. Shows a, showcases a neat little interaction between these elements. Okay, and now we go up into the volcano walls. I think this is where the end of the level is, so I'm going to skip on down to Tarzan's Jungle 3. Because what does this do? Ah, it makes the things unusable. Oh. Also, interestingly enough, these make him really unhappy. Okay. Anyway. So yeah, the goal here is to clear up the fluffies and the roaches so that with Jax he can go in there and squish the brain with crate. Some sip on us. So yeah, um, fluffies explode exposed to um, these things. Uh, the laser beams or the towers on now. They basically just kind of get mad when that happens, I suppose. He's gonna have me die. Okay. No. Oh, 
don't let that happen. Okay. So yeah, basically, oof, that's so annoying. So yeah, just go around and kind of kill the roaches, I guess. Don't think you really need to be a wreck anymore. I'm gonna stay as rich just for the heck of it. Okay, so now the roach is dead. Oh, there's a female at the bottom. Oh, let's go get her. Alright, so now the brain squished. We go in here. This room will be changed soon unless people actually like it. What the heck is going on here? Oh, time. Okay. But basically, the thing about these things is they make time go by fat, uh, by in real time, which is ugh. And yeah, the, these are mad fluffy spawners. Just, just what we needed. <laughs> you know, those people who can. Uh, who, we're talking about having a goblin queen at one point. Well, that's what that's basically what you people were waiting for. Practically. Also, I seem to forget that you can do crazy stuff with uh, Rick's weapon, but these guys seem to actually know I can do that. That's actually pretty smart of them. Okay. Let's not forget that I can simply jump on most things if I need to be safe. Let's now go over here. Oh dear, okay. I can see that there will be problems because I can't really do with these things that are in my face right now. Oh, what's this? Doesn't seem to do anything. That's weird. Okay, I think I know what I want to do. And one so I'm going to leave you in the dust. So yeah. Yes. So now I can just shove them in there without dying. <laughs> and this yeah. The fluffy key. Okay, so okay, so basically the goal of this is to just kind of kill the fluffies. Pretty straightforward stuff, basically. Ok, 
Okay, I don't want to get stuck. That's that is very important that I do not get stuck. It is one of my core values that I do not get stuck. Okay, all right. So now I just kind of see to outrun them and so they decide to throw themselves into the fire. Excellent. No, I. No, I think I needed one of them alive. Oh, I messed up. Okay. Just empty the lot enough that you will be able to go through. Not too much though, because you need someone to open your way into that other area. No, I messed up again. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, alright. Let's get all those fluffers out. Alright, so let's go through here, jump here. Killing them, you murderous, murderous person, me. Okay. It's gonna stop at some point. It's just getting this is getting sad. Okay. Gonna okay, save now if they're sick of at least having to and being able to avoid part in terms of repetition. Just one. Yes. Okay. Now we just set things up in a way that this guy right here will come to my uh, to my aid. He's not. He's not going to help. Not even close. I need more than just one. Maybe I just need to flush them out and then go in there. I don't even need to burn them. Okay, anyway. Let's try this without burning anything. Pretty sure it's easier that way anyway. Actually, just clear it off a bit. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Now, I want to make us to make sense out of all of this. I'm guessing that... Oh, are you kidding me? What? How 
I supposed to do this? Am I supposed to somehow keep all those fluffers there? Seems a crate, so I should be able to push it. Thing is, maybe I need to get the jacks icon. Wait, I know this one. Uh, no, that's not it. Hmm. Okay, I'm stumped on my own thing. That's kind of sad. Um, okay, so you can't go back to this icon. I think I might need a larger crowd of fluffs. Let's try to bring all of them over. Okay. Doesn't work still. Oh, this toggles. Interesting. Well, I still can't get all this stuff through because I need to push the crate. And I cannot be jacks. That's for sure. This will make this room as possible as this, uh, in this position. Uh, or it's a bug that I overlooked. Honestly, that would not really surprise me that much because I am the kind to really kind of forget things. Say honestly, I am a forgetful kid. And I especially was back in those old days. Hmm. Well, this seems to be the thing with the alternating. Hmm. Oh, this is. Okay, I'm going to stop this recording for now. And then if I'll find a solution to this. So then, this is Beef Book 7 with the Lava Mountain in Wonder Quest. And I'll see you on the next part. Have a nice one.